Halleluja! Halleluja! Hello! And welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I'm Spencer Cardier. I'm Ellie Hamilton. And this here is Frank. Watching too much anime for my liking. Or just enough. Or just enough? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what day it is. I don't know who I am. I don't know where we're even going with this. Some days people feel that way. Don't feel discouraged or okay. dejected or okay. or um, dethroned, dethroned or um, detached or don't feel that you've become unmoored. Don't know what that means. That means when the boat is tied to the dock and then it becomes no, unmoored. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. You're feeling a little rambunctious. I, just, I had dinner. A little rammy. I ate. Normally, I don't eat before the shows, but today I was feeling... Calories are energy. <laughs> Ow. Destructive in your wackiness. Yeah, just feeling a little nutty today, guys. Sometimes um, you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like the shell. Um, Do you know what that's from? No. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Mm, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Um, I'm in Joy's Got Nuts. Mounds don't. Because. Never, never heard it. No. Wow. I have two modes. One is I don't eat. I starve myself for science. <sighs> Just kidding. I'm not condoning any kind of not eating. But then I'm like grumpy. And then I eat. And well, I have too much classic. energy. I mean, that's the Snickers commercial. Yeah. You're, people, not, you're not you. People get energy when. Um, you're not you when you're eat, hungry. So you have to eat. But not too much. And not too little. <sighs> Eat the right amount, folks. What's up, everybody? It's time to talk about our show. It's Thursday. This is the Croak and Crow podcast. Oh, hey, welcome. I, I didn't even see you guys were there. This is the Croak and Crow podcast. Yeah. There's seven days in a week for everyone. Even other countries? Yeah. Seven days in a week for everyone. Even in Canada? Yeah. Um, But there's four days in a week for the Croak and Crow audience. Yeah. That's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah. Weird weird yeah. days. There are days. So on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you watch us talk. Wednesday, we talk about a word in the dictionary. Like hammer. Thursday, Check we talk- Check out yesterday's hammer podcast. About words in the Bible. We didn't talk about getting hammered. <laughs> yeah. That was one thing we missed. And Friday is a wild card. Sunday is- a very short one third of the time of our regular podcast yeah and it's a fun little piece of dessert on a sunday night a piece of dessert but um the, dessert. The, the good kind of dessert like a cinnamon bun yeah where it'll fill you up it's not like a, it, it's not hard candy it's like that good like it's it's dessert that'll put you to sleep oh yeah because it's made with eggs and, and love. flour. <laughs> our, po- our podcasts are made with eggs and flour and salt. Yeah, sugar. I had a great book. We baking, should do salt. Baking soda. We should do salt on a one word Wednesday. Okay. Um, I had a great book. It was called Salt. It was the name it, of the book was Salt. It was, it was called Salt. It was. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't um fiction. It was like the history of salt, and it was so interesting. And so amazing. That's like the joke of like sand. I'm going to get to the bottom of this if it takes me the rest of Sand and more sand. So much sand you really wouldn't believe it. There was sand and uh, more it was sand. Awesome. And uh, it got stolen from our car when we were in France. You know, what? maybe the French thieves, you French thieves out there, if you're watching this, imagine if this came full circle when we. Got to meet and be friend. Can our you French, imagine? Our French thieves. At that time, I felt like a bad person. I was I was breaking into cars yeah. in the McDonald's parking lot. And now we can the, like in the Bosque region of France. We can rekindle our our. Um, oh my gosh! And then they came on YouTube and they're like trying to look for like I want to change my life. I want to become yeah. more spiritual. And they find Probably just got a person. prison, French prison. <laughs> yeah. yeah, French people. If you just if you robbed a car back in two thousand and six, <laughs> and you're like, I want to repent. Come on the show. Talk to us. It's my book. If there's lots of underlying, like when I take mm. a book, it's no longer good for resale. I, I write notes and I underline and I circle. So if you see a book in Europe called Salt, 
and it is written in, please return it <laughs> to Ellie Hamilton. Yeah, but that's enough about salt, guys. You know what that is? It's Thursday, which means it's walk through, through Thursday. Thursday. Roll, roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. All right, guys, it is walk through Thursday, and you know what that means. That means we are going to open up the Bible. This, that, 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 that. Isn't there like a thing like that priests do when they open up the Bible and they say something? They and don't they hold it up? Yeah, it's like God. once once because it's when they're what, what's the part of when they're reading the gospel called? <gasps> I feel so <sighs> sad that I can't say that out loud. Just say you can't say it. <laughs> Um, well, we can't say it right now. We, we're, we're not allowed. Um, but it is right here. And we open up the Bible, the sacred text, if you will, and we pick a part of the Bible. Yeah. I don't even want to say a, a line. I don't want to say a verse. We pick a part. We pick it we apart. Pick a, we do, right? Yeah. We, we pick a part and then we pick it apart. Pulled pork. We have pulled Bible. Yes. Sentence by sentence, line by line, word for word, you know the vibes. And today, drum roll please, we're talking about Matthew 7, 5. Matthew 7, 5. Have you ever heard of it? Probably not. Because I feel like majority of people don't know every verse by heart. Okay. That's fair. That's okay. Yeah. So I sent you the text. Oh. I, <laughs> I sent you a text. Uh, from, there it is. There's a text. I sent you a text. And it that is... What happened on Sunday mm, yeah. at the Christian Meme that. Review. And so that. people can go to that um, video. Well, I'll show them the meme right here. Okay, and then we that's can, easier. We but can... if you want to go see it, I think it's 819. Yeah, so the, so the meme's right there, and I'll explain a little bit what happened, okay? This person put up a uh, Pirates of the Caribbean being meme, and it's talking about the Bible. It says, not, says to judge not, and then the other guy is like, Oh, well, actually, if you look at the verse after that, it says that it's our job to to judge. And I called baloney on it from, from the start. You did. The Bible says judge not. But if you continue reading on to Matthew 7, 5, you'll see it actually calling you to not be a hypocrite. We're told in scripture to point out sin and call people to repentance. What? But then that is being a hypocrite. Like, don't look at... Look at... Look. Look at casting of stones, okay? It's the idea that you thinking that you are pointing out someone else's sin when you have so much sin of your own. And so to use this and feel like you're justified to judge other people for what they do, thinking that you're some holier than thou somebody is just is biblically wrong. But I didn't really know what the next verse was. Right. And I didn't either. And just one more second, if you keep your text open. I didn't either. This is why you have to be careful when you're reading something from other people and you're just taking for granted that they're telling you the truth, that Mm. they're telling you the whole entire story. So the meme simplified is what you just said. But as they as the um, the poster put a sentence at the top that was a little more in depth about how we need to be righteous and we need to judge. And I thought that I thought they were quoting the Bible. Oh, so the title said, according to scripture, Christians are to judge righteously and not hypocritically or self-righteously. Right. So I don't know where they got that, but it is not from Matthew 7, 5. Sure ain't biblical. It was misleading. It was misleading. It was misleading. And so what we wanted to do is to undo anyone who was misled by that. Have you been misled? (laughs) We were like a... uh, (laughs) Those lawyers? Yeah, call. Have you fallen, fallen victim? 1-800, Croak and Crow. Misleading scripture? Yeah. So I have for you the whole, um, not the whole, I didn't. I'm ready to pick this man apart. That, right? No, we, we're not against the poster at all because who knows who told him that? Or true, him or true, her, true, who, who true. told them that? We're not against the poster. Thank you for the content. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people might be confused. So we. Oh, this is what we're reading? This is what he used? We're not gonna. We're not gonna attack him. You're right. Or, you, know or what her. I, you know what that mean, You know what that makes me a hypocrite. Yeah. You know what? I hate. I hate. Ah, it hurts. A but I deserve that. So one second before you we're go forward. We're not gonna attack him. So we're not gonna attack him. No. We love him. Um. Or her. That's what I just said. They. Um. 
what I was going to say was I looked up Matthew 7, 5 to see, um, is this uh, post accurate? It didn't seem to be accurate. So then I said, maybe it's the translation. Okay. So then I pulled up the translation of King James, which. That sounds a little better. No, but it's still, it's still not, it's still not accurate. So that's why I feel fine. Accurate to who? To his, to, to their the post. post. Okay. So, yeah. So once again, what we are referring to is the meme says, don't, not, don't, thou sh- you shouldn't judge. The Bible says don't judge. And this person calls out, oh, well, actually, if you read Matthew 7, 5, you'll see that right. we're meant to judge righteously. Because the first pirates um, of the Caribbean character called out uh, Matthew 7, 1. Right? Yes. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you'll be judged. Yes. Judge not lest you be judged. Is, everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. The funniness of the meme was to be like, that's Matthew 7, 1. What about Matthew yeah. 7, 5? They were pulling our card of saying straight out of context. Yes. But we're defending the fact that it wasn't out of context. Yes. It actually doubles down. So you guys are probably at the edge of your seat. There, what's to Matthew 7, 7 5? 5? I'll tell you. Matthew 7, 5. Should I read? Wait. Should I read Matthew 7, 3? Two seven five. You can you can do either one. You could just do five if you want to be really strong for the meme. But then you can reverse and tell us what three. Well, it's five. all the same. All right. So here we go. Um, just to clarify, this episode is Matthew seven five. We're just going to read the whole thing first. Or should I read the whole thing? No. So the first part, you know, don't don't judge you till be judged. Matthew seven three. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Matthew seven four. How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there's a plank in your own eye? Five. That's what we're looking at. You hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Yes. Now, um, it seems like what's the problem? It seems, the, like, it seems like what's the problem? The meme, uh, the person or whoever, maybe it was a bot who made the meme. But let, So who cares who, who put it? But we're not talking about the person. We're talking about the meme. Right. About that. So this is where it got. Why are we reading two different? Like, where, what are they yeah. reading? Because they got from it. According to scripture, Christians are to judge righteously and not hypocritically or self-righteously. So for some reason, they're saying they got from that, that you, yes, you Christians should judge. Mm-hmm. It is their duty to help mm-hmm. their brother. Yeah. Um, to be to be pure enough to be able to judge others. Yeah. So it's not judge not lest you be judged. This person, this meme changed it to when you are appropriately holy, it is your duty as a Christian to judge. Yes. Yeah. It, it, what the are that argument? You what the how you you could have that argument be accurate mm-hmm. is if you are saying. You took the plank out of your eye. Yes. Not only you took the plank out of your eye, there's not even Now a you're ready. It's not a plank in your eye and a plank in their eye. Remember no. that. That's right. a, that's the important part of it. It's a plank in your eye and a speck in their eye. Right. If it was like, oh, I know the way. I found the way. It's like you had this huge plank. You take it you're out. You're much your, worse off. Your eyes are clear. And right. now you can do with the speck. And that's just not the case. So judge not lest you be judged because mm-hmm. you have a plank in your eye. Okay. And now I am saying... Well, I took the plank out of my eye, so now yes. I can get. So now I can get the speck out of yours. Yes. So what's the problem? You're you probably still have a lot of specks in your eye. Who's to say? I did everything I was supposed to do. So now it's I. They're telling me. Once I'm good, I will see clearly to remove the speck from my brother's eye. But it's just it's just not how it works. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. And I think that is the answer. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work out again and again till I get it right. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. And what I brought up in the meme review, I'll go back to now. Okay. In casting of stones, because I feel like that epitomizes. Like I, you know, when when people bring up the same few Bible verses. There's one of the biggest reasons is because those are like the, it hits at home. It like, is a parable that Jesus, Jesus 
chose chose to explain to explain to well, all the people to of to all this. time. Yeah. But 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 you know what I'm saying? It resonates yeah. obviously. And that's one of the things I always say about the Bible. You know what I always say? I don't like things out of context, even to the sense of like why I say that I enjoyed reading the whole Bible and I use the whole Bible yeah. to branch my ideas, is because even talking about Matthew seven to Matthew six, people might debate that. But what I'm going to do is bring up another part of the Bible where you get these overarching okay. ideas. You talk once again about hypocrites, right? And in the casting of stones, Jesus says, whoever is free of sin can throw the first stone, right? That's what he said. Right. The argument of saying that Matthew 7, 5 is saying that you can righteously judge is would be equivalent to saying, oh, well, no, the Bible doesn't say don't throw the first stone. It's saying if you're free of sin, you can throw the first right. stone. So I'm, I'm actually doing the right thing because I live a righteous life. Right. And that and that well that's what I said in the meme review. I said it's biblically wrong. Right. Jesus didn't think for a moment that anyone in the crowd could throw the rock. Yeah, it wasn't like he wasn't he wouldn't been like, oh, who's <laughs> up? Who's he wasn't disappointed to find out no one was free of right. sin. It was redundant. Right. There was a redundancy there. Right. It's 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 instead of um saying, God, am I good? Am I bad? Am I doing correctly? You know, he is encouraging you to talk to yourself, mm -hmm. to audit yourself. Yes. Okay. So that, you know, turning it on to you and saying, do you think you can throw the rock? Yes. Do you think you're qualified to take the speck? And it also is diminishing whatever it is about um, your brother. Yeah. Yeah. Then that, like, and so that's why I sort of don't like when they say we're meant to righteously judge mm -hmm. and not, it said not hypocritically judge and not, um, self-righteously judge right by assuming you have no specks in your eye but that's what you're doing you're right. saying my eye is clear by just assuming that you have the right to judge is self-righteous right it is saying no but i am good you're you're being self-righteous in assuming that it's you, that you are in a place right that you can judge in place for the lord right in, in place for jesus is like well jesus i'm i'm on your level i'm 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 good my eyes are visine up in here <laughs> no and, and so and so you and so you hide behind this righteous judging when you're doing liter and, and what is the word for that being a hypocrite i was gonna say hypocrite it's the big h <laughs> that's like the h word yeah <laughs> yeah um it is interesting the way it's worded and so that i will give people the benefit of the doubt that they were not looking for a loophole to judge others, but they were that they may have been um, genuinely confused mm -hmm. because I yeah. feel a lot of not just Christians, a lot of uh, faith people, faith um, searching people feel they are doing good, they are doing charity, they yeah. are being loving yeah. when they're trying to point out other people's flaws. Yes, and it's it's one of the tough things with dealing with Christians. And any any person of who's um, practicing faith is because when there's some when someone's just being bad, it's like you can just call them out and say mm -hmm. you know like like I don't I, I don't hate this person right they're a god they're they're a god loving person obviously yeah. yeah but you run into this problem where people think that by helping like, they think they're helping others right by judging like. Oh no, but like I'm, I'm looking out for you, right? Uh, and it's this idea of I'm looking out for you, I'm looking out for you, and it's like, you're, it's not your place, really. No, it's like you can be fully loving and fully supportive of someone without judging them, right? And and you're not helping anyone, especially you're not helping yourself, right? It, it, like that's the one thing it says biblically is you're not helping yourself, yeah. by judging other people. So why do it? Well, like, and well, you're supposed to help yourself. You're supposed to help yourself. Physician, heal thyself. You're supposed to help yourself. You're supposed to love other, uh, love others, and you're loving others to, is a one way to help other people. You're supposed to help yourself, and and that is um, a way to help yourself. Like this is in three, which we're doing seven five. But as you said, it all goes together. Um, when it says, "Pay no attention to the," um, you're paying attention to the, your brother and you're not paying attention to yourself. Yes. Um, I think we talked about that a few times on podcasts where 
that's a that's a lifetime job not a full-time job you know like lifetime job yes. pay attention to yourself yes because it is very hard to know what you're you know what, yes. what you're doing if you're consistently doing it your motivations for doing it um well yeah i mean and that's my thing with sin like that's what i want to make clear when you said like oh but what if they are living righteously it's I'm not calling everyone out. It's like everyone's terrible people. You right. all have, you all have little deep, uh, deep dark secrets. Right. I know. and then the person's like, well, I, I go to church on Sundays. Like I don't. It, it, it's not like don't think of the speck in your eye as ah uh, that that's the your, the dark no. mark. That's a dark mark on your hand. No, it's no, like, no. It's an ongoing thing. We all we all have just every little day. You can always improve. You can always improve. You can always get better. And you shouldn't just spend time worrying about other people when right. it's like you're you can are you perfect if you're perfect nobody will say they're perfect but then but then people will, you know what it goes back to what? remember you're the problem what righteous means yes think of this is back to one of those things like right change this to perfect like because that is what, that, what yeah you're right free of sin what was mary mary was perfect right 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 so say you're perfect say say i can judge you because i'm perfect right you can't say that no and so when when you put this that's why i don't like demonizing the word sin obviously you know sin sin equals bad yeah but when you demonize it it's like it's easy to say i haven't sinned all day right but if you say have you been perfect all day well i haven't been perfect all day there's definitely things i could have improved on then you it's much clearer to see right oh i see what you're saying now you're not perfect i'm not perfect Um, and so i shouldn't judge other people jesus was perfect and that's why we follow him that's why he is the one that takes us up the mountain he's our shepherd sherpa we're not shepherd and sherpa they sound the same yeah shepherd (laughs) shepherd um and interestingly i'm wondering if people who know that you shouldn't judge others can't even tell like like you just said "Uh uh-oh i'm being um you were being hypocritical to the meme maker you know we we're not supposed to be judging we them so we don't want to point out to them you're not yeah. perfect that's why it always has to be your has to be coming from yeah yourself yeah. to say i am not perfect i am trying to get more i'll be perfect in heaven but yeah on well, earth yeah. i'm trying to make yeah gains i i agree but once again i'm far from pre- i judge people left and right let me tell you never mean to but the one important thing, like I think I've said this in different words, different times, is being being self, being on your, not on yourself. That sounds like you're attacking yourself, but be aware, self-aware about yes. it. Yes. And, and so when I judge someone, like in the beginning, I'm like, let me tear this guy apart for writing this meme. I didn't say, and I got God on my back because I'm doing, because it's self-righteous. I'm defending it. It's like as soon as someone says like, Oh, aren't you? Aren't you like? Right. Shouldn't you not be doing that? I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, what am I doing? Like, yes. I, I, I'm never claiming to be perfect, right, right. But I just, I, I think it's dangerous to de- to defend your imperfections. Yeah. With, oh well, actually, right. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Right. I'm supposed to judge that person. Right, and there is something about um comparison, as well. Comparison is the what's the quote? Oh, the thief of joy. Comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah. So there's something to be said about comparison um, because here they're comparing a speck of sawdust Mm -hmm. to a plank of wood and saying they're equal. Because that's another thing that um, we have a tendency of doing, of saying, but I didn't kill the person. I just, Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. And, And that's sort of what I brought up earlier make no mistake that wasn't just a accidental way of words so like I, that right there i think is what defends the fact that there is no there is no getting around the fact that you're not going to be removing the speck from your brother's eye like, there's, there's no capability it, of, it, for us to be perfect it's not once you take the plank out you'll know how to take the plank out it uses very different measurements to equate it's not the same. Right. Once you it's take, very obvious. Once you take that log out, you're not going to then be good to take the speck out because you had a log. They had a little speck compared to that log. Right. Like it, it's it's uncomparable. Right. And so, there. Like Jesus didn't say to once again to Brant the stone story. Nobody throw a stone. Right. You were all sinners. Right. He he always poses things in an open-ended way to make you think. 
It's all about to make you. So it's cause, yeah, because I love that though. Because that well, is the free will. That is the you tell me. Yeah. Do you think you deserve it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think that is one of the beautiful things of the Bible that he says it like this mm-hmm. and doesn't say, you know, never try to take the speck out of your own eye. Because it, it life is not free will and earth. What we think earth is is a place to find yourself before you go into this perfect world. Is to learn and learn how to love and and all that so you think for yourself have i have i gotten that plank out of my eye right like and and it's it it gives you the opportunity to make a choice Mm -hmm. of should i judge or should i not not i will never say anything to any of my neighbors because i was told strictly don't judge right it's 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 a way of giving you the free choice to make that choice and so you know what we can't be, and that's one of the reasons you can't be mad at the person for taking it this way. Right. Because in their life journey, they believe right. that that's what they should be doing. Right. We don't. And I like that it's um, not a permanent condition. So if, if, um, if God were to say, these people are good, mm-hmm. they are labeled good, and these people are labeled bad, mm. that's a permanent condition. But in the way this is written, it is saying, you can always, like we talked about prisoners and we talked about all this different, you're constantly evolving. You can constantly repairing yeah. constantly. So just work on taking that speck out of your eye or the yeah. plank. But um, I believe it's, it's Eastern um, spirituality that talks about somewhat something like this, where it says, work on getting that um, plank out of your eye. Now, the, 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 the funniness of the thought is when you are that enlightened, that you do, <clears throat> what does it say? Oh, uh, you're talking see, about like Buddhism and stuff. Yeah. When you do see clearly, you're now able to remove the speck from your, you're not going to want to. Yeah. Because now you're at this high, high level of enlightenment where you realize that that person is not to be scolded by you. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one cool thing about, you know, is, is that idea of once you're fully enlightened, nothing matters anymore. Right. Like, it's like. And that's why, like in, in Buddhism, um, when you achieve the become a what's a, is a Buddha, right? Yeah, that is actually the term. Yeah, because yeah. mm-hmm. Buddha, the Siddhartha Gautama, right, was a was Buddha. a Buddha. Right, he wasn't the Buddha. Right, there was many Buddhas before him, um, in their theology, but that's when they just disappear from existence because, right, they have achieved enlightenment. Now they are right. just one with the universe. Um, so that's it that's like really deep thought and that's what you're saying you are not at the level to do this right now no way. why don't you work yeah. harder then you can but you're not going to want to <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, exactly like like yeah i mean uh you you if you're still getting worried about these specs in your brother's eye it means you're not there yet. exactly <laughs> like, like just like how i know like i just said when I catch myself judging people, mm-hmm. I know that I'm not at a place to judge people because right. it's like I'm still having these thoughts of, of uh, and, and like offhand comments. And I'm like, oh, well, that was a little judgy. Right. And so once again, I think it's important to. But 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 you noticing that you're being judgmental is already up a level from being yeah. completely oblivious and not realizing what you're doing. OK. Now, before so we catch yourself, ca- catch <laughs> yourself before you fetch yourself. <laughs> Before we go, because I, I f- once again, I have these imaginary people talking to the screen of what they're saying. Okay. To the people that are saying, so when we see people doing bad things, what do you want me to do? Just condone it? Say, yeah, go and go and kick that puppy. Let's not use a puppy kick in comparison. <laughs> but let's just go on a smaller scale. of Because it's usually in a, in, in a sense of what, uh, opinion-based things right. that you think are wrong, obviously. You know, we believe in the judicial system and stuff. Like, right. if you burn down a house. Child abuse, you we, call we, the hotline. Yeah. yeah. But it's, okay, well, I love someone and I believe they're committing sin and I want to go to heaven with them. Pray for them. It's not your business. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't your business. <laughs> no, I, w- I would just say love, guys. I, I, I yeah. think if you replaced all the times you wanted to judge someone with love. Yeah. Ain't nothing biblically is going to be mad at that. No. Like, if... if you just and I'm not saying say I love you. That's why I'm telling you you're going to hell. That's not love. Love is full unconditional love right. to that person. Right. That well, you can read a lot more Bible verses than this, and you'll you'll be right every time. Anything Jesus yes. ever said. You 
are a special, beautiful, loved child of God. You're living on earth at this time for a very special reason. Focus on yourself. If you find that someone does something and you they shouldn't be doing that, or I, I feel bad that they're doing that or they're sinning, you are getting a, a, le- a, a lesson in tolerance. Mm-hmm. Tolerate what they're doing. Like we're not talking about toxic people. You can remove yourself from the situation. Yes. We're talking about you having the urge, the compulsion yes. to try to make them see it with the hammer, mm-hmm. see it your way. Use that opportunity to realize that it's not your place. It's not your place. And all you can do is love them. Love them. We love the person who made the meme. We, you know what? You just gave us a whole podcast. So <laughs> you can't, can't, we can't love you much more than that. Yeah. Thank you. No, but seriously. And, and once again, I mean, the why we, we like the Bible so much is because everything in it is in parables for this reason. And just it's, doesn't get old. It doesn't get old. It, this will be 100 years from now on Zoop Zop, which is probably some alien YouTube they're going to be having this conversation so yeah it's just it's it's all it's all food for thought yeah or chicken chicken soup for the soul yeah yeah <laughs> the book or something yeah. anyhow guys that is it for walk, walk through, through thursday. thursday we'll be back tomorrow for frank friday or fill in the blank friday whichever one you prefer frank prefers fill in the blank i prefer prank wild card wild card um, yeah, peace, love, uh, and judge not, lest ye be judged. Mm-hmm.